it is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Pour Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Keg Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. Clements Homebrew coming at you with the last of the 2016 SJ Pour U.S. Canada final beers that I have. All right, here it is. This one is the 86H99W32N. I'm going to read this to you. It's 4.2% ABV. What you have is a lightly tart, kettle soured, refreshing summer saison with beets added. Now, I like beets, so that works for me. And I've had beet beers. So, with uh, beets added, to bring earthiness, complexity, and a crazy beautiful color. The first sip may be unlike anything you've ever had before, and if so, give your palate time to adjust. By the end of the glass, you'll be wishing you had a whole keg. <laughs> well written, I love that. So we're gonna get into this one. And we'll see. You know, the way that the bubbles are rising up, this one makes me think of uh, as if it were another Berliner Weiss. I mean, it's so classic. The bubbles, you could just hear them coming up and then they fade down a little bit. But look at that. It truly is just a really spectacular color. I've, I'm, you know, I'm not going to do the correct color thing. It's that reddish, pinkish, mauve. I don't know. You tell me what the color is. <laughs> when it gets into this, this kind of level, but it's a pretty beer for sure. You can see through it a little bit, but not so much really. That head's thinning out, kind of like a Berliner Weiss. So we know this is a kind of a soured beer like that. Let's get the nose. Wow, now that was interesting. I, I'm gonna, I'll be really honest with my first impression. I got a light sweetness, then I got a little bit of a beet, and then I got a little bit of this, like putrid scent, you know, like a baby diaper. I hate saying that. Now, that was odd, but we're going to try some more here. Now I still get that. It's this off, interesting scent on there too. Uh, it's just a really, uh, it's the root. I mean, it really, I mean, beets are a root. And so it's that kind of a, it's kind of a vegetable scent. It's a little bit like a rhubarb. So it's a tart, kind of a tart, I know this is beets, but I get of a bit of a tart rhubarb scent. And that's really more, more descriptive of it. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. It's an interesting nose. I, I'm kind of back and forth on that one. It's, it's a little odd. So I'm going to make some notes on it and we'll be right back with the taste. Yeah, it's just a strong sharpness on there that, uh, that just kind of throws me. All right, we're going to move past that and we're going to jump into the taste. Cheers. It's a very interesting taste. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely got a tartness to it. It has like a sourness to it. You get the beet on there, but the tartness, it reminds me a lot, like I said previously, is like a, like a, a rhubarb tartness more than, you know, beets. And I'm used to beets having a sweetness to it the way most people make them. You know, they make beet sugar. So beets normally have a lot of sweetness in them. And that would have been converted to alcohol. The Mouthfeel is, I, I love that. I mean, this is, this is a Berliner Weiss. I, I, I don't know, it's so interesting because in one of the spots I read, read it's a Saison. And I'm guessing we have some mixed uh, yeasts here. We've got some Brett or whatever. But we've got maybe a Saison yeast and then we've introduced, you know, some kind of a, 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 a like a Brett or something. Um, so it was kettle soured. And so it's, it's kind of a, it's hard to describe that, but I mean, they really, it, it's just, it, the esters that come off it are very unique, then it's not quite like a Berliner Weiss, but the mouthfeel and the bubbles and everything else going on, and how you see it visually and you can hear the bubbles, it's all just such a Berliner Weiss style. It's light, which, which you expect. 
very effervescent as I'm burping here. And those are all qualities that I really like. There's something, and maybe it was probably better fresh, I'm guessing, but there's something with the taste on the beets that when it first hits your tongue, it's a little off-putting. So as suggested, I'm going to take a little time with this, and I'll be back. All right, I've definitely taken some time with this, and my wife smelled it. And I'm wondering if, if fresher it wasn't a little bit better than it is now. Um, I love Berliner Weiss type styles. You know, I'm not afraid of sour. So in that sense, very, very fun. I, 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 the mouthfeel and all those types of things, uh, I like that. But there's just a little bit too much of the sharpness and off scent at this point. And maybe that's why I'm wondering if it's a little bit of the time that has done that to this. I understand how these things can grow on your palate and, and maybe it can off gas a little bit too. So it tones it down. I think some of that has happened in your palate just as well. But I think it's just a little too, too sharp personally and it needed a little more sweetness or something. You know, I can't say exactly. I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm good at drinking sours and Berliner Weiss type styles. I don't get a lot of the Saison thing. I wonder if maybe that with the Saison yeast or something, the blending is something. I'm not going to be able to tell you how to improve on this. That's for sure. A little bit more sweetness would be like nice. When, when I drink these styles, like had, I've had them with apricot and, you know, strawberries and, you know, a number of fruits uh, as well. And um, there's... There's just a little bit more sweetness or maybe a little bit less on the, I guess, that tart or bitterness side. And I think it's a little bit of bitterness that's coming in somehow. And so there's just like too much of a vegetable taste on it, which for me personally. But it's a fun beer. I mean, I can tell that this was extremely well crafted because the whole balance of the whole thing in terms of the carbonation and the body and how it was put together, I know it was properly made um, for this style, which I love. I just think that there's something with that beat that's not quite there. It needs a little more sweetness or, or something to that effect, or a little less bitterness for me personally. But it's a fun beer. It's really it's a it's a fun, unique entry. That's for sure. I, I love my variety. This is definitely fun. I'm gonna have a fun time writing this one up. So here it is again. It's the uh, 86H. 99W32N. Cheers. And uh, looking forward to seeing who the winners are for the U.S. Canada 2016 SJ4 Challenge.